tiny. I totally forgotten that I got this Sephora package yesterday. This is what we got. Half of these things are the little like samples that they give you, but the other half I'm so excited about. The main reason I ordered something from Sephora is because I wanted to try this product out. This is the Oat Cleansing Balm because I really want to do like a cleansing balm first to take off my makeup and then like the cleanser that I like using. Um, and this one was recommended by a lot of people and it was literally the cheapest one. This whole bottle was like $10.99. This is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. I'm gonna use this later tonight to take off my makeup. I'm so, so, so excited to use it. I ordered another Inky List product. Inky List is slowly becoming like one of my favorite brands ever. I had already been using two of their other eye creams, but I ordered the Caffeine Eye Cream. It's just like a little eye cream, but it's supposed to be really, really good for whatever eye creams are supposed to be good for. And then I had a bunch of points and I was like, might as well start using them because they were just there and I wasn't doing anything with them. So I got two little Kiehl's products. This is like a little moisturizer. Maybe I'll use that later too. And then I got the pore cleansing mask. I got the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I went with the shade Blondie. The camera's cutting off what's happening up here. <laughs> I recently discovered this new way to curl my hair and it might not be like completely revolutionary, but it is to me because I have never, ever, ever liked the way my hair looks curled. I just, I feel like I just never do it right. But recently it's been, it's been right. It's been looking right. And it's not even looking 100% how it usually does because last night I straightened my hair thinking that I wanted to have straight hair today. So it's not as curled as it would be. But just in case you guys struggle with curling your hair, as I did, I'm gonna show you guys what I do. This is the Infinity Pro Conair. I got this off Amazon. I'll try to link it down below because it was only like $20. Put it through here. I go over it a couple times and then I come kind of to the end, but not really. And then as I'm going up, I'm getting the ends in there. Um, I don't know how to describe this, but you guys can see. And then I just go all the way to the top. And this is the part, like the part at the end is what really makes the curls because I was doing this for a while and it was like still not doing it for me. You pretty much just go behind, go behind again, and then let go. Beautiful. some time before I have to get ready to leave um, but there's this little mini project that I really want to do somebody commented on oh, actually wait before I tell you guys about the little mini project I have to show you guys what I got from H&M yesterday because it's right here look at this I'm so obsessed literally it's like my dream jacket this is the back I'm just so obsessed with it. H&M just knows what they're doing. I can't remember her name, but somebody commented on my last video where I showed you guys me organizing my closet. She was like, you definitely should get velvet hangers so they all look the same. Well, one comment is all it took because I went to Dollar Tree this morning and I got a bunch of velvet hangers and I'm about to change all of those mismatched hangers into the same one. I'm kind of bummed out because I didn't have enough for those right there. Like if I would have bought just a couple more packets, I would have had enough. So I'm gonna have to go back and get a couple more packets for right there. But I feel like for these two racks, which is what I see the most, I think it looks so much better. So much better.
I stayed up so late yesterday and one of the reasons I stayed up so late was because I almost convinced myself to buy a coffee maker. I was on Amazon for, I'm not even kidding, like almost an hour, just scrolling through all these like Nespresso coffee makers trying to decide which one was the best one. And they're having a bunch of like Black Friday deals. So I was like, if I'm gonna get one, this is the time to get one. Um, but I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. I was like looking at it and I'm like, oh, I don't know. Because the last thing I wanna do is have it there and still be coming to Starbucks. Like I'm trying to save myself the trip, even though like if I don't come to Starbucks, even though I don't come every single morning, but like I come most days, you know, it would like, I would need a whole new routine, which would be so fun, you know, to not have to like wake up, drive here. Like I would just wake up, make my coffee and get right to what I need to do. Anyways, we got our coffee. I got a venti. I have so many things to do today that it's kind of like overwhelming. I ended up going to sleep at almost 2 a.m. I had a nail appointment this morning at 8.30. My nails look so cute. I didn't do red. Red was a fun time. Red nails were cute, but I'm back to my baby pink. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog today because today is a really, really busy day and this isn't even like productive day in my life. Like, come along with me. This is actually like, I need to get down and do so much work. I need to get a, a bunch, I need to like get a bunch of stuff done, which is why I made my nail appointment so early. It's also Thanksgiving week. So I'm trying to like finish up everything so I can enjoy the rest or like the end of the week. So I woke up early, went to my nail appointment, got my coffee. I'm on my way to the UPS store because I'm, helping my mom drop off two packages that she's sending. After that, I'm gonna get lunch for my dad and I, and then I'm gonna go back home, clean up really quick, do like a 15 minute, 20 minute quick cleanup. I need to wash my sheets today, so I'm gonna do that. And then I need to sit my ass down and I need to edit a video. And I know it's gonna take me like six hours. Like I just already know. So the sooner I get started on that, the sooner I'll be done. I need to send that video over to get approved. Then I also really wanted to go to TJ Maxx just to buy like a couple little things that I'm buying for a gift. I'm just hoping that there's enough time in the day for me to do all of that, but we'll see. I got my coffee and that's the important part. That was traumatizing. I just discovered how weak I really am. I was carrying both boxes. I had to walk from like literally like 10 steps to the door. I almost fell. I couldn't open the door. There was absolutely nobody around to help my soul. It's also like kind of windy. So all of my hair goes to the front of my face. I opened the door so hard. I have my hair covering my entire face. I'm like about to drop all these boxes. That was a humbling experience. Anyways, I'm kind of craving Chipotle. Let's go to Chipotle. I always ask for extra lettuce because I never feel like it's enough, but today is not one of those days because they definitely gave me extra lettuce today. <laughs> I was about to apologize for the way that I look because I look rough but honestly this is as real as it gets because the days that I'm filming I'm like super like put together like I'll do my makeup blah blah, blah. and the day after when I'm editing that video this is what I look like and then tomorrow when I film again I'll be back to my like makeup on and everything but anyways I got sidetracked right now and I was scrolling on TikTok and TikTok once again proved that I haven't had one original thought in my entire life this girl was like talking about something that i was literally like thinking about the other day and that's you know my first language is spanish so growing up and everything in my household we only spoke spanish so even though i speak english like every single day and i read all of these books and whatever words just sometimes get mixed up like i'll either be saying a word and i'm thinking it's like in spanish and i'll say the word like in a conversation i'll be speaking english and then i'll say a word that only makes sense to say it in Spanish. And there's also just so many words in the English language that I didn't grow up like knowing of, you know? So I remember in school when I had to read or especially now when I read, there's so many words that I'm like, what? Like, what does that mean? And I feel like that's such a relatable issue when you're bilingual. I used to go to like doctor's appointments with my mom when I was literally like 11, 12. And sometimes at these hospitals, the doctors and the nurses, they couldn't find a translator. So the doctors would literally ask me to translate for my mom. So they would literally go on and on and on with all these like medical terms. And then they'd look at me and I was like 11. They'd be like, okay, tell her what we just said.
I've been sitting in the dark for the past hour. I'm so annoyed with this, like, it literally feels like it's 10 p.m., but it's only 5.43 p.m. I just finished my video. I'm so happy. I literally thought I wasn't going to be able to finish it ever. I literally was, like, torturing myself sitting here in the dark because I was like, I am not getting up even to turn on my light. I was like, I am not getting up until this is done. I'm so excited I was able to finish that. I think I'm gonna order the coffee machine right now. I don't know why this is such a tough decision. Like, I don't know if I should. You know what, I gave myself a day to like think about it and like to really think if I actually want it. And I do. Look at the tree. I bought it. I'm so excited. These are Forever 21 boots. You can't even see them, but they literally go up all the way to here. Some leather pants, and then this little cropped turtleneck sweater from Target that I got like a couple weeks ago. I just need lip gloss, a bag, and we're good to go. I will be getting every last drop. Come on. I see people do like circles, so I'm gonna do circles. And then they do like squiggly lines. Mm -hmm. 